That's a crappie. It's a good one. It's biggin. It's a biggin. Oh yeah, this is a crappie. Oh yeah, this is a big crappie. Oh my gosh. I don't know about this. I don't either. <laughs> I don't know about this, guys. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Colin J. Hey, if we look a little bit sleepy this morning, it's because we couldn't we sleep all night because we were so excited to return back to this crappie fishing destination. The spot where we caught all those crappie and yellow bass yesterday. A lot of things have changed since yesterday, and I say a lot of things, I'm talking about temperature degrees. It's, it's dropped about 25 degrees since we were out here yesterday. The starting temp this morning is 23 Yikes. degrees Fahrenheit. So that is nine degrees below freezing. I brought some, uh, when I bring some real mag, I brought some real mag to like spray down our rods. I know our guides gonna be freezing up, and we aren't using braided lines today. We're using a straight line. We're using the same as yesterday um, to prevent our stuff from freezing. But we have one set of gloves. We might be sharing. I doubt. I think Jay's gonna, Jay's, Jay's probably gonna hoard the gloves this morning. But we got our waders. Jay's got some new waders on with some trash bags. Yeah. Last time we were here, my hip boots leaked. Yeah, and, that's, and I stood in the freezing cold water. Yeah, and if she was freezing then, she's definitely gonna freeze up today. And so we don't want that. Fingers crossed for no leaks. Yeah. Hopefully those trash bags work. They're a proven technique uh, when you have leaky waders. So, anyways, we're gonna get out the car, even though it is toasty and warm, because we gotta get over there and see if there's an early morning bite. They could be on fire this morning. There's a little bit of ice going around the perimeter of the area. So it looks juicy. So we're excited. If you're excited, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. And we are gonna hike over there and we're going to catch some crappie, hopefully. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, we're out here. My GoPro, I tucked it inside my waiter. It's like, I think it's cold because it keeps glitching, keeps freezing up. But anyways, we're out here about to start fishing. Got some real magic. We're gonna spray this all over our guides just so that they don't freeze up. Step works pretty good. You spread it on all your guides. Spray it on your reel a little bit. Should be good. Let's get Jay's pole. Don't like ice in the guides. Hopefully this works. I've used this in the past and it worked before, so it should work today. Let's wait out there. Let's see if the waiters leak. Let's see if we catch the fish. I'm freezing. I am absolutely freezing. There we go, fish on. <clears throat> There's my first fish of the morning. A feisty little yellow bass. It's been, it seems like it's a little bit slower this morning than it was yesterday. I think it's because it's cold. Fish haven't had a chance to warm up. They're a little lethargic. They could have pushed out to a different area. Um, I don't know what that, something just happened right there. I wasn't paying attention. Something just swirled like crazy right there. I'm gonna cast over there. I wasn't paying attention. But it's a little bit colder this morning, obviously. Um, the sun's out. So I, yesterday when we were fishing, the sun was out really good. And uh, I'm thinking maybe once the sun comes up a little bit, maybe I'll get this fish a little bit more active. But the crappie could be holding in a different little area right now. They could be like more wedged up in the grass where we can't cast to them. Or they could just be out here, maybe it's a little bit deeper. I'm not positive. We're gonna cast around and see if we can find some. Crappy. Crappy. First one of the day, baby. Not a bad one. Took a while. The bite is definitely slower this morning than it was yesterday midday, but there are still some crappie hanging out out here. First fish for the stringer. Whew. All right. Only need about 10 more. Fish on, fish on, oh gosh. Is it a crappie or a yellow bass? Can I find like a yellow bass? Yellow bass. First fish of the day is a yellow bass. And I got some bad news. Um, I just found out that my waders leak both feet. Whew, it's gonna get chilly. Those fish are up in that grass. So I made my bait. 
So I've set my bobber like maybe 10 inches, 11 inches above my jig and I'm throwing up in this grass and there's a couple of holes and I'm just sneaking my jig through those holes. Got him. I think it's the old bass. And they are demolishing it. I'm thinking they're up in the grass because it's so cold. The grass is holding a little bit more heat. And I think that once it warms up, they'll kind of spread back out. But right now it seems like they're in the grass. And I think that the most of the fish are in some places where we can't even put our jigs at. So I'm just trying to get as close as possible, possible to those spots. And I try to get a fish to come out and eat my jig. That's how I caught that crappie. It's how I just caught that yellow bass. I've had a couple more bites. I can't do this. I can't do this any longer. Both of my, both legs of my waders are full of water. And it's so cold. Oh my gosh. I can't do this. Oh. It was a little bit easier yesterday because we were catching them every cast. But this is not working for me today. Oh. There's a nice yellow bass. Way up in that grass. But unfortunately, we've got a skedaddle. Jay's waders are not working. They're filling up with water. So I'm gonna let this fish go. And we are going to bounce out of this location for a little while. We're gonna go to the store, get Jay some new waders, and then we will come back out here and hopefully the bite will have turned on and we'll start smoking some big crappie. Let's get out here though, let's get Jay warmed up and we'll see you guys when we get back out here. All right, we're back out here for round two. Round one was no good. I got so cold, I got soaked. Um, but anyways, went to the store and we got me new waders. So these are really nice. They're rubber so I can also catch snakes with them. But anyways, hopefully round two will be a lot better than round one because I'm in the water right now and so far so good <laughs> okay so we're gonna split up we have a bucket we're gonna if we catch the fish we're gonna throw them in the bucket and uh see if we can catch some crappies another thing that's nice about round two is that it's not freezing anymore I mean it is cold but it's above 32 degrees so our line isn't freezing up our guides aren't freezing up it's so like 33 yeah it's like 33 <laughs> so we're gonna split up a little bit cover the same little area and see if we can find out where the crop you're hanging out at go get him Jay This could be a crappie. Oh yeah, this is a crappie. Oh yeah, this is a big crappie. Oh my gosh, please don't get stuck. Get up, get up. Woohoo! Come here. Okay, he's not as big as I thought he was. Ah, stop. I don't wanna get my hands wet. There we go, there's my first crappie of the day. That was awesome. It took a very long time to catch this fish. Too many yellow bass, not enough crappie out here. Look, I got one. Gotta put him in the bucket. I would think maybe not that many. Ooh, ooh, that's a crappie. That's a crappie. Oh, no, 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 no. No, get out of there. Come on. Oh, I got him. That's a crappie. Yeah, baby. Whoa! I'm trying to grab it. Stop. Yeah! Another nice one out of the same spot. I may have found me a little honey hole. Nice, that's a slab. He's thick. Whoa. Okay, now I have to walk all the way over here and put him in the bucket. Another nice lab for the bucket. That's a crappie. It's a good one. It's big one. It's a big one. It's a big one. Oh, he's stuck. You got a crappie? I got a crappie. I got a big one. I got a big one. Big one. Where you at, fish? Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. Come here. Whoa! Yeah! Big old slab, baby. It's been a while. Jay just got on the slab train. 
And now I think I'm on it too. Look at that, big old crappie caught them way back in the grass. They are so shallow. And then there's these tiny little pockets. And if you don't put your jig in a little pocket, you're not getting bit. If you go too far to the right or the left, you can hunt up in the grass. But it's worth it. Big old slabs. Throw them in the bucket. Let's see if we can get some more. This is the fourth one? Fourth fish in the bucket, I think? Yes. Number four. Number four. Let's see if we can get 10. 10 would be sweet. Okay, I'm taking it back to the bucket. Oh, that might be. I think that's a crappie. I think that's a crappie. Get out of this. They scare me whenever they get in the grass like that. Yeah, baby! Another one! I am on to something now. Yes! Oh, this is so much fun. Back to the bucket. Back to the bucket. Here's a crappie. I thought it was a yellow bass. It's a small crappie. It's the smallest one we caught today. He's not gonna be a keeper. What's up with that little dude? I was just fighting him nonchalantly thinking it was a yellow bass, but it's a, it's a crappie. That's a crappie. Biggin'. 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 Big and come here, big daddy. Barely hooked. Yes, sir. Another nice one. Making that walk back over here to the bucket. I think this is number six. Looking for about four more. The bite has really slowed down, so. We'll see what happens. Well, that's it for this spot. We caught six keeper fish, and I honestly think that might be the last six crappie in this hole. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of crappie in here. There's a lot of yellow bass, um, but we're just not getting, if there was more crappie in here, I think we would have caught more. But I'm happy we got six keepers, and uh, there's one more spot we're gonna try out, so we're gonna check out that one location, then we're gonna head back to the house. So stay tuned, we'll see you guys at the next fishing spot. That's a crappie. That's a crappie. <laughs> I just turned my GoPro on too. First cast on this side. Woo! That's a dandy. I'm just gonna go ahead and add him to the bucket. Never said. We were walking our way back to the car and we stopped on this side. I got one of my first casts. Well, we made it back to the house while we're actually at Granny's house, but we did not catch as many fish as we thought we were going to today, but that's okay. We got enough fish for lunch. That's all that counts, right? <laughs> Anyways, so we're at the house and we decided we're going to try to prepare these fish in a different way than we've ever done before on our channel, and that is going to be cooking them in an air fryer. Air fryers have been all the rage the last couple years. Everyone has an air fryer. If you don't have one, I'm kind of surprised that you don't. I feel like everybody... <laughs> has an air fryer. And today we want to see how well an air fryer can fry a crappie filet. So we're going to batter these guys up in some air fryer seasoning and we're going to throw them in the air fryer and see how well it performs. So let's get these guys battered up. Let's throw them in the air fryer and see what happens. Here are our delicious crappie filets and this is the Louisiana air fryer season mix that we're going to be battering the fish in today. The air fryer that Jay is standing by just went off signaling that it is hot and ready to go. So we are going to put some of that air fryer mix in this gallon bag. We're going to put the fish in there. We're going to shake it all up and it's going to be delicious. I, I hope, hope so. hope it's delicious. <laughs> let's go ahead and get these guys seasoned up and let's throw them in the air fryer. What's it smell like? It smells really Let me good. smell it. It smells kind of hot. Uh, hmm. Smells good though. Okay. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm about to make a mess. <laughs> yeah, I'll help you out. There we go. Fill the whole bag up. Alrighty. Reach in, grab you a slab. Ooh, that's some good looking fish. <laughs> How many should I do? Maybe do like four. Do four to start off with. Okay. Here we go.
Here we go. Looks That's good. That's all you're supposed to do. Now in the box it said you need to shake off the excess, so I guess you can just maybe just shake it off in the bag. You pull the fillet up and shake it off in the bag. Okay. All right, Jay is going to place these fillets on this little cooking tray here. It looks like it'll hold probably six fillets. Maybe we can add a couple more to it. Let's do six. We already have four. Good luck, guys. And it says to cook it for 10 to 15 minutes and then flipping it halfway through. So it's definitely a little bit longer than cooking it in grease, but hopefully it's gonna taste really good. Yeah, it's supposed to be a little bit more healthy for Yeah, you. it's gonna be healthier. I guess, as healthy as it can be, <laughs> fried fish can be. We'll keep an eye on these guys and we'll see what happens. Going in for the flip. How's it feel? Does it feel crispy? No. No? <laughs> it does not feel very crispy. Yeah. That's the only thing that kind of sucks about air frying is you have to flip it as opposed to in grease it just cooks it. Yeah. Ow! No! Kind of falling apart. Oh no! Uh oh. That was a fail. I won't break any more. Okay. Maybe you should use a spatula. Probably. There we go. Going in with the spatula. Much better. Pro tip, use a spatula. Huh. I don't know about this. I don't either. <laughs> I don't know about this, guys. I'm scared. Ugh. Eh, it don't look that bad. No. Is it crispy? I'm gonna touch one. It's kinda crispy. It's kinda, ow, I touched the pan. Dang it, it's hot. Huh, not the most beautiful and most appetizing thing I've ever seen, but it should eat. <laughs> Let's see. Granny, you think it'll be any good? <laughs> you, look, look at it. You wasn't supposed to do that. Look at it. <laughs> it looks good. <clears throat> Granny, first impressions. First impressions. What do you think? Touch it. No. <laughs> <laughs> It's hot, Granny. It's good. It, Is it good? Don't make, you always say it's good. Like? You ain't got no taste buds. <laughs> okay. That doesn't look too bad. Let's put it on a plate. Is it We should have made some french fries. Is it a little mushy? This part wasn't. Hmm. Guys, the only problem with this is that we didn't make any sides to go with it. No french fries or nothing. It's just fish. Whoops. Oops. Okay, I'm a slabby patty. You want a slabby patty? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Slappy patty it is. I just want to eat some of this fish before it gets cold. <laughs> <laughs> Alright everybody, slab patties all around. Woo -woo. There's Jay's looks a little bit nicer than mine. Granny's got some tomato on hers. I've just got some fish and pickles. I got one piece of fish on the side just to get the full flavor effect of it. But now it's time to see how well the air fryer produces fried fish fillets. Granny said it was good, but Granny says everything is good. So, Jay. Is it really good? Is it really good? Take a bite. Oh, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Don't watch me. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, here we go. Is it, is it better than the deep fried? Mm. <clears throat> it's definitely not as crispy. Ugh. So I would say that it's not better. Is the flavor okay? The flavor is fine. It probably tastes a little bit more fishy. Ugh. <sighs> but not bad. Not bad? Not like a bad fishy taste. Okay. But. Okay, well I could probably get down with that. I mean it looks alright. Like, like we said, it'll eat. Gee bug. It's definitely very flaky. It's very flaky? Mm -hmm. Let's try it. <laughs> Gee bug. <laughs> How do you feel? Yum. I'm gonna start off with a piece of fried fish by itself. I mean, it's all right. It ain't, it ain't my favorite. 
it's not bad. It is, like you said, it's a little bit more fishy tasting for some reason. I'm not really sure what that's about. It's not as crisp. It is flaky still, but that's because it's a flaky meat. But it's not that insane. Let me take a bite of the sandwich. Pickles are good. <laughs> Pickles are always good. <laughs> I would definitely prefer it to be deep fried. Yeah. I think deep fried fish fillets are the way to go. This is he healthier. It tastes kind of like sugar free pudding. Mm -hmm. what, it is. what do you think, <laughs> Granny? Don't beat me. What do you think? You think it tastes all right? I think it's fine. It's but not, fine. It's not great. It's good. It's good, not great. See, it's good. I go with Granny too and say it's just fine. It's not, it's not great. Like I wouldn't serve this to one of you guys. If you came over to our house and you were gonna eat fried fish with us, this is not the way that I would cook it for you guys. I, this would be the last way I would cook it for you guys probably. But it'll still eat crappie's delicious fish. I think maybe if you fried a fish that's not as good as crappie, it might not be as good of a result. So I think the, us using crappie is in our favor right now. But it ain't bad, I'ma eat it. It's gonna fill me up, it's gonna be all right. It's good. <laughs> we just finished up our slabby patties and we gotta be honest with you guys, we were not that impressed or that satisfied with the air fryer's fish frying capabilities. I'm I mean, not sure. Was it horrible? It wasn't horrible, but it was just okay. It wasn't great, it wasn't, it's not what you want. Like when you <laughs> catch some fish and you flam, you have the intention to fry them, like you expect something a lot more exciting than mm -hmm. that. Like you look forward to it. It's like a big special event, you know, we're eating fried fish and that's just not, that just wasn't the results we were looking for. It was just kind of crusty, it just wasn't great. And we could have made some mistakes along the way, yeah. <laughs> but overall we just weren't that impressed. But it definitely would eat if you had to prepare them that way. But let us know in the comment section if you've ever cooked fish in an air fryer before and how your experience went with it. Yeah. We definitely want to know if like, if it's just us or if it's just like a very universal thing that air frying fish fillets in the air fryer just isn't that great. But anyways, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed today's fish in action and the cooking action, be sure to give this video a like and make sure you are subscribed to our channel so you won't miss out on any of our future outdoor adventures. We're, We're Cole and Jay and we'll see you on the next video. Bye guys.